Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today's video will be on automating tick marks and cross marks on Excel. This can be very useful in many occasions when using Microsoft Excel. This will also make it look professional on your Excel file. Before we go on further, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. And, don't forget to click on this bell icon to get notifications on future videos. Now, let us look at how to do this. This here is a sample of what we will be going through in this tutorial today. If you happen to have any questions, please leave it on the comment section. And I will try my best to reply to my earliest. Let us go through how this works. And then, I will show you how to do it. Every time I insert the number, 1, or 0, the icon here changes. To a tick or a cross mark. When I insert the number, 1, it changes to a tick mark. And when I insert a, 0, it changes to a cross mark. This is done through conditional formatting. I have assigned the relevant numbers to the tick or a cross mark. Let me do a similar one for you, and you can follow the steps. I am fast forwarding the formatting part to save time in this tutorial. Okay, now that I have done the formatting, let's focus on how to automate the ticks and crosses. Click on Home tab, and to your right you will find Conditional Formatting. Select the range of cells you want the ticks and crosses to appear. And then, click on Conditional Formatting. You can find Conditional Formatting under the Home tab. Once you have selected Conditional Formatting, go down and select New Rule. Now, select the rule, Format all cells based on their values. Once you have done that, you have to change the format style. Click on this drop down icon and select Icon Sets. Leave the icon style as it is. As you can see there are plenty of icon sets to choose. And you can explore them on your own. The next step is to click on this icon and change it to a tick mark. Likewise select this icon and change this icon to a cross mark. And on the third one, make sure you change this icon to no cell icon. Now, this section here is very important. Because this is what automates the icon selection on your spreadsheet. Make sure you follow all my steps carefully. The default on type section is percentages. You need to change it to number for both marks. Click on this drop down icon to change it to numbers. Same in here too. Once we have done that, we need to change the values. Here I will change the value for tick mark to the number 1. And leave the cross mark as 0. What this means for us here, is that, when the value of the selected cell is equal or more than 1, it will display a tick mark. Similarly in here, when the value of the selected cell is less than 1 and equal to 0, it will display a cross mark. Once you have done those, click on OK. Now, we are all set to try whether it works. Within this range. When I insert ones and zeros, I get a tick mark or a cross mark. Let me try it out. Okay, now that we have found our way to automate the tick and cross marks, we need to hide these numbers. Or else, it doesn't look professional. Select one of these cells, and then go back to conditional formatting. Click on conditional formatting. And then select Manage Rules. You can see the rule we had just created. Double click on it, and it will take you back here. Select the Show Icon Only option. Selecting this will hide the numbers on the range. Now click OK. Apply. OK. As you can see, it has done the trick and the numbers are not visible anymore. You can now change between ones and zeros and it won't display the numbers attributed to the icons. That's all it is in how you automate icons on Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching my video and please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos like this by clicking on the bell icon.